Good morning. Today is Thursday, April 18th, 2024. Um, it is 5.17 a.m. I just finished my class, Wake Up with Peach. It was great, and I'm telling you. I know each time I come on here and talk about the class, I say it's great because it is. It's just every day even gets better. Technically speaking, I'm in session five. I started session. I started at session two with Wake Up With Peach. So session five, this is day 11 of session five, but it is day 74 of, of me taking the class, waking up every day between 3.30 to 3.45 and preparing for class. Um, as you can see, I washed my hair. <laughs> I wash my hair um, and I'm taking it down. But I, the plan, I am going to Barbados. So excited for my youngest sister's birthday, May 11th through May 14th. And so for me, I have to renew my, my passport. Child, I don't even wanna get into what the heck. Anyway, I was going to, I was going to do like um, expedite and take a picture at the post office and I did the application that's online and printed it out. But I realized I'm going to be stressing myself out, even though I have my ticket and everything, I'm stressing myself out waiting for the mail. So what I decided to do is you can do like an actual appointment, but you have to like have your appointment or set your appointment. I think it said 14 days. Yeah, 14 or 10 or 14 days uh, before your trip. And so that's what I'm gonna do. So I can just go into the office and I'll you'll and I'll have give them my old passport. I will pay these crazy fees. I already know. I'll get my passport that same day. I know it happens because it's happened for a lot of people. And and my my youngest sister who we're going to Barbados to celebrate her birthday. She did that when we went to Cancun in December of 2021 for my sister Victoria's birthday. She actually said her her day, the, the day of the trip, like I'm not going to do that to myself. Anyway, our, the trip, our, our flight leaves too early in the morning for me to do that. So I'm going to see if I can set it uh, maybe, maybe that Friday. We leave on a, a Saturday. Maybe that Friday I can go and get all of that done. Um, and I'm not, I'm not really worried about it. I know it can, you know, as long as I have the money and I can get to that appointment, I am good because a lot of people do it. I would rather do it that way than go and mail out, send everything overnight. And then I'm still having to wait for stuff to process and then wait for them to send it back in the mail. And when you do the application and you send it in the mail, you got to send your old passport. So let's say something happened. I can't say, oh, well, I can just go in person and give them my old pair. I can't do that because I've mailed it off. So, yeah. Anyway, that's why I had, you know, had my hair. Well, that's one of the reasons why I'm like, oh, let me get my, do my hair, wash it. So if, when I take this picture, blase, blase. But I, I, I decided probably at midnight, I, I, I got maybe three hours of sleep, y'all, at midnight that I was going to just, um, do the appointment and get it closer to the trip date where I can get my passport same day. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, another reason why I have I decided to get my hair done and everything is I'm gonna go live on different social media platforms. I did like one time I did it like on all like three flat pl platforms at one time. Oh, that gave me anxiety. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do like today I'll do probably Facebook because I get more traction on Facebook. I may have more followers. Yeah, more followers on Facebook than any other platform. So I'm gonna do Facebook today, go live to talk about my um, healing, my mother wound classes starts May 6th. So I'm gonna go live and talk about specific questions people ask um, and then a, a few other things and then on Friday, I'll probably go live from, I need to learn how to go live from TikTok. 
maybe Facebook, not Facebook, I just said Facebook, YouTube, and then Saturday, TikTok, Sunday. Sunday is going to be a long day for me, though. Long, I have to work on Sunday, and I have to do a, a essay writing workshop, and I have ooh, this hair. I, I we twisted some of it on this side. So, I don't know. I was I don't know if I was half asleep. That cause that just hurt. Ouch. See like this. I don't know if it's not. It's a piece of my life. Oh, it's intertwined. Okay. Yeah, baby, because that hurt. I'm trying to figure out where where the cause of that one. Feel like it was coming out my head. Okay. Um, but but Sunday is a very busy day for me. See, look, I think this is uh oh, I'm gonna lose this lock. Hmm. I mean, it comes with the territory, but I still don't like it. I'm going to try not to. Uh, that one is thinning out. That's what I I could feel, this one. I'm going to try to save it. You see how thin that is at the root? Dang it. Anyway, um, I got a lot more on my head, so. But I do not like losing my locks, especially when they're that long. Uh, but yeah, Sunday is going to be very busy. I have sessions with my seniors. Matter of fact, I have the schedule right here. I have schedules with my seniors. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, well, possibly eight, if the other two will respond to me, plus the essay writing workshop. And I have a, a training uh content creator training to do on sunday so sunday gonna be a lot so i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna go live on sunday i probably won't i'm gonna vlog as much as i can but i'm gonna definitely go live today i'm gonna go live friday and saturday so at least on facebook on youtube and i'm gonna go live i'm gonna do tiktok finally i've never Went live on TikTok, um, and I'm going to see if I can get a moderator or two because I, people are saying that's what you need because people come in and, you know, do things where you can get banned. So, I don't know why, but, but yeah, that's the plan. So, I want to look the part, going live, answering questions, going over, you know, what, what is the mother wound? And all of that good stuff. But that's what I'm going to do today. I have not been blog, vlogging as much um, in April. I'm still, the goal is still to upload 30 videos in April. I'm going to do that. Because that's when I, my last day of vlogging was the 14th. Today is the 18th. So I'm like four days behind. But I, I could, I'll fill it with content. I mean, especially with me going live these next few days that'll help um that'll help with some content and then i'll get back on track so i just some days i just was not feeling like vlogging and i was looking like who did it and why i, I was getting a lot done but like self-care i was not taking care of myself i wasn't sleeping as much as i should you know getting rest and i looked like it so i you know I didn't get, I got on camera a couple of times where I looked kind of crazy or bug died, but I just wasn't feeling it. I had, and it just had some things going on um, that I just didn't feel like sitting and vlogging. So, but I'm, I'm, I'm on, I'm on to it now. I'm back. Like I said, this is the 18th. Uh, so when I go live this weekend, today, tomorrow, and Saturday. Going live is going to help me twofold. It's going to help me with recruiting um, people for my class and also to get me updated with April. And my April's theme is accomplished April. So I do feel accomplished. Been working on a few things and I'm feeling really accomplished. So, but yeah, that's that. After I take this hair down, I'm going to sit here and write my goals out for the day. 
So I have goals for the month, goals for the week, and then I write out daily goals. Most of my goals are going to be the same as they were yesterday. There might be a little switch, so I'll actually read them out. Let me get this last braid out. But I'll actually read it out too, too as I'm writing them out. So I'm going to write out my goals. I am going to laminate more of my cards. If you've been following my vlogs, you know that I... This is session five. So the cards from session five with my affirmations on them, the things that I'm gonna do on the back, I laminate them, put them in holes here, and then I have these little clip things I got from Amazon. Actually, I'm an Amazon affiliate now. So, and, um, and the in the info box on this video, I actually put the links. So these, I got these from Amazon. The laminating machine is hot, you know, so I'm not <laughs> gonna pick it up and show you. I'm gonna grab some. I need to laminate them anyway. So I'm gonna grab cards that are not laminated and I'm gonna show you how, I think I showed in another video, but it's just something on it. So it gives me about three spaces. Cards, I'll show you. Put it through there like so. I'll hold it up. This is hard for me to. Yeah, so after I do this, the laminating, all of that good stuff, I have a couple more mental health assessments and treatment plans for clients that I need to do. I think I need to do three more today. Well, three more this morning. I have to do five by the end of the day today. Pray my strength. Um, I also have to, I, I'm in my third week of my training to be a adjunct professor, online professor teaching psychology classes. I'm in my third week, the final week. Almost made it, y'all. So I have some tasks to do. One is due at the end of the day today. I'm going to get it done now. So I'm going to try my, my point. My goal is to get that done before nine o'clock because I have to go drop something off to my mom at nine. It ain't going to take long to do that, but going outside just drains my energy. I know that sounds so, yeah, but it does. So I'm going to try to do that. I just have to clean up. You should see this place. Um, so, yeah, it's a few things that I need to do. And I still, I have some sessions today with clients. I have how many? Three, six. I have six little people to see today. So, cleaning is priority. My uh, mental health assessments, I, um, treatment plans, that's a priority. My training, I have to do at least a discussion. Um, I have a few other things to do and clean up. Like I have to clean up. I'm not. I'm not gonna have to worry about. I was gonna work. Be worried about my passport and the airport. Airport <laughs> and the post office. I don't have to worry about that because again, I'm gonna just wait. I'm gonna wait to to do that as I get closer. And I feel like I I'll be less anxious doing it that way. Mailing off my, my old passport and waiting in the mid for the mail. Uh, anything can happen. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it to myself. But see, when you take them out, you look like a whole different person. Okay. The last couple of days, I was looking like somebody's uncle. So this is how the... I'm going to see if I can hold it up. And then I'm gonna walk over there. You won't, you guys won't see me actually put it through the machine, but I'm gonna show you what it looked like after I put it through the machine. So I put it in really tight like this. Let me see if I can hold it up. Let's see. So you put it in, make sure everything's straight. Make sure everything is straight. It's clear. 
I'm about to go laminate it real quick and then I'm gonna show you. Y'all excuse me, y'all know I have had a bench really close for me to feel comfortable. Cause I don't like sitting in my legs hanging. I don't know why, but that's one of the things that I just don't like. I don't like sitting on stools or bar stools and my, my legs hanging. I, I just don't like that. Put the box there and forget it was there. Almost went down. Okay, turn it back around. Alrighty, so and it only takes literally seconds to run it. Let me make sure this is straight. And then I'll come over and show you what it looks like. I don't even know if I have my scissors over here. But yeah. All right. So after I put it through the machine, this is how it looks. And then I just cut it. Let me see if my scissors. And I just cut it on out. And you know, with the lamination paper, all you need is a little cut, and you can actually just zip it straight, straight up, like a precision. This is, I am an intentional, I'm, I am an intentional, present, and supportive God mama, okay? And then the steps that I'm going to ensure that this affirmation comes to fruition is, I spend intentional time with all 12 of my God children and my Gigi baby. Um, two, I learn each of my God children's love languages and love them the way in the way that they desire. And then three, I co-parent with my God kids' parents to ensure that they feel loved and supported. So just affirmations like that. And I can carry them everywhere I go. Like I said, I'm going to Barbados. Baby, these, these they're going with me. My goals. And I'm gonna take actually my April goals will be done by then. Um actually. I'll be in May goals, so so I'm gonna take the, these are my yearly goals, the, my goals for 2024. So I'll take this, and I'll probably take when I leave. I'll probably take the last of my, like I'll probably take my session five book because that would have been my last session, even though I'll be in session six. Um, and just a reminder of things that I said I was gonna do affirmations that I like myself I we do that every day in class um, for this session we do I am healthy every day in this class so 
So I'm going to take the, two, the 2024 goals. I don't know if I'm going to have my May goals done. Hopefully I will. I, well, we leave, we leave on 11. I should. The, let, let, the, I'm going to make that a goal to have my May goals done. These are my March. And I already did the video going through my March goals and everyone that I crushed and then the ones that I kind of just transferred over to April. April goals, I am still, I have them. I just have to put them in form. Like I have them and I have them written out like this. Uh, I, need, I need to write it better. Yeah. Write them out better. And I will. Like I said, I have goals for the month of April as well as um, I have goals for the month of April. And then based on those for the month, I broke those down per week. What I want to do per week and then daily. So, after I cut this, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to write out my daily goals. And then I'm going to end the vlog because I got so much to do. So much to do. And it's 5.40. It's not even 6 o'clock yet. I'm trying to think. I thought I write my goals. I may start cleaning up the kitchen just to move and then sit down and do um, my my training assignment. You know, because I got, like I said, I only got three hours of sleep. I'm, I'm thinking a zero sugar energy drink right now. I can't go back to sleep, right? I got too much stuff to do. And that's fine. That means I'm going to sleep. I'll go to sleep on time tonight because I'll be tired. So, that's it. I'm just going to make it through the day. Just push through. But these are my three that I just... I am healthy. I drink a gallon of water daily. I did not finish my gallon yesterday. So I stopped about here. Where is it? Just a Jessica Rabbit. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill. I got water um, bottle. So I'm going to fill it back up to the top and start again. But I got down all the way down to Jessica Rabbit um, yesterday um, and did not finish. But I'm going to finish today. So that's one of my goals. I said I, I drink out in the water daily. I walk outside for 45 minutes to an hour daily. Uh, I don't know what the weather looked like, but yesterday my sister and I started walking and it started raining on us. So um, we probably walked for about 30 minutes before that happened. And then my third, I am healthy. Um, my goal is I am healthy in action item is I get at least seven hours of sleep daily. So, and I got, as you got, since it's time, I'm, I'm, I'm letting you know and I'm stuttering because I only had about three hours. So, I'm working on that. And then I like myself. Just write three things that you like about yourself. So, that's what three of those laminated. I'm going to do that and I'm about to sit here though, really quick and write out and write out my goal.